Okay, so I have a question for people who say something in me, or rather for Christians who say something told me, who's the something? Okay, so why am I asking this question? So I'm in the kitchen, right? Cutting up vegetables, doing different things, preparing lunch. Yes, that's sweat, that's not even the light. It's, it's sweat, it's, no, it's glistening. Women glisten, right? But anyway, so I'm cut up everything. I burn because of onions and yeah, okay. So I'm that type of personality where I cook or cut up whatever it is that we're going to be having for lunch or dinner and I do the dishes at the same time. So I finish everything preparing to go have a nice lunch. I go to the sink to start washing some of the dishes or the utensils and I started thinking, I thought to myself, you need to blow the leaves in the pine straw off the front of the outer, from the front walkway of the house. And so my thought was, I had that thought because when I left out of the office space, I looked and saw the pine straw and the leaves in the front walkway. And the thought was, oh, that needs to be blown away. So, or yes, with the leaf blower. And so that thought is the thought I had about the thought of go, go the leaves to the driveway. So I'm washing the dishes and then Holy Spirit says, go blow the leaves of the drive for the uh, walkway. Now mind you, not thinking about blowing the leaves, meaning going to do it now, it's um, lunchtime. So I finish washing the dishes, I pick up the bowl, and for those of you who are born again, you already know, delayed obedience is disobedience. So I put down the bowl, go get the leaf blower, open the front door. What is at the front door? So there's the front door, then there's a step down, and then there's a little area, and then another step down. What is about to crawl up on the second? A snake! A full snake! Now, the, the, the thank you Jesus part was, I was like, oh, it's a snake, and didn't freak out. So I went, I, I went, came back in, closed the door, went to get some snake repellent and bleach, don't have a shovel, don't come after me about me having a shovel. But my, so with that, and the snake was not, I couldn't see where the snake had gone. Yes, it's still somewhere there, but I blew the leaves, did whatever I had to do, came back inside and thought, Holy Spirit is a keeper. Yes? How is it that we who call ourselves Christians, notice I say we, right? Actually, it's y'all who call yourself Christians and don't believe that the Holy Spirit guides you or that God stops speaking. Can someone answer that for me? Because clearly, Holy Spirit was like, yeah, I know you wanna eat, but you gotta go take care of the snake. Just happens to be a real snake and not a person, but that's me that you there. So I'm just asking, why don't you listen to the Holy Spirit? Just asking.